Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a review on this blue nail extension gel kit from McCart. So this is poly gel and it comes with everything you need except the lamp. I've been dying to try this kit and I finally have it, so here's the review. Inside the kit, it comes with the base coat, the top coat, a 100-180 grit hand file. It also comes with the poly gel tool. So on one side, there is a brush and the other side has a spatula, or they like to call it a picker. Also, you get the nail surface cleanser, which is also the slip solution. The dark blue poly gel is number 844 and is a gorgeous royal blue. The medium blue, which is number 843, it's so pretty. The light blue, which is number 842, it's a gorgeous baby blue. All of the McCart kits also come with a clear poly gel, which is nice for encapsulating designs. Here's a swatch of all the poly gels side by side. And underneath the plastic in the box, you get the instructions on how to apply the poly gel and some dual nail forms. But these dual forms are very curvy, so I'm not going to be using them. <laughs> I did, however, purchase separately a different type of dual form from them. This one has a natural flat curve, and it works so much better for my flat nail beds. On the left, this is the curvy one, and on the right, this is the more flat dual form. Structure in your nails is very important, otherwise you can get breaking. And I'm also going to be using my McCart 48 Watt Nail Lamp. I'm going to start by applying a base coat to my nails. I didn't do normal nail prep to make these nails last because I'm doing them over a peel off base coat. This is because I'm doing my nails so frequently and I want easy removal. I'm going to start by using the medium blue color and I'm going to squeeze them out onto the dual form. I did test out this kit prior to this video and I had a lot of issues with it being sticky. So something I seen was to try and use the base coat as a slip solution. This helped me out so much as the poly gel was not sticky when I used the base coat. I did try to use nail surface cleanser that came in this kit and also alcohol, but both were still too sticky. This method worked great for me. So as you can see, I'm just taking the poly gel brush and smoothing out the product within the dual form. You want to make sure not to get too much product at the cuticle or sidewalls of the form. This is because once you smooth out the poly gel, you're going to flip it over and put it on your nail. So you do have to put a little bit of pressure on the form for it to stick to your nail. Because of this, you do not want to put too much product on the edges of the form. It also takes a little bit of practice to understand how much product you need to put inside the form. If you put too much, it may not cure or it will be way too thick. If you don't put enough, you will have spots that you can see through and you won't have the structure that you need in your nail. Then I'm just going to place the dual form onto my nail. You want to push a little bit but not too hard. Then flip your nail over and smooth out the underside of the dual form. Then you can take your brush and wipe around the sidewalls and cuticle area. Once you have everything in place, then you're going to cure under your lamp. Once it's cured, you can wiggle off the dual form. <laughs> That's one of my favorite sounds of doing nails. So you can see this little spot on the side of my nail. That's because this dual form is still not flat enough for my nails. So I'm having to add some more product to this side and also the other side of the nail. This is going to fill in that little spot and also give me some more structure so that these nails will last. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and smooth over the poly gel that I just put on there. So now you see how bad it sucks to have flat nails if you do not have them naturally. <laughs> Imagine if I was to use the curvy dual forms, like I would be missing so much product on the sides, like it's not even funny. That's why I lean more towards using paper nail forms because it's a lot more custom and you don't have issues like this. But I did want to give the flatter dual forms a try, so here it is. 
So once I cure that layer, then I'm going to go in with the hand file, the rougher side, and I'm going to go ahead and smooth over my nail. If the dual form fit properly, you don't really need to do that much filing on the surface, but because I had to go back and add the poly gel to the side, I do have to file over the surface quite a bit. So as for the shape, I'm going for kind of a coffin ballerina shape. I'm not sure which one these turned out more like, but one of those two. <laughs> So then I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same steps for my pinky nail. So while I do this now, I'm going to rant a little bit more about the dual forms. Aside from the curviness issue that I have with these forms, the sizes fit great except the thumbnail. Like I had to do this off camera because the thumbnail dual forms are so small, like there was a huge gap on both sides of my nail. So I do hope that my car comes out with some bigger sizes for thumbnails, but until they do, I'll be using a paper form. I think I forgot to mention, but I am a McCart ambassador, so don't forget to use my discount code to save 15% off your order. Of course, I have this information here on screen, but I will also put it down in the description box for you. Just because I'm having issues with the dual forms doesn't mean you will. <laughs> And their products are amazing, so I highly recommend this company. So here I'm just doing my ring fingernail, and I'm going for a clear marbled effect. I've seen this design so many times, especially on Instagram, and it's one of the prettiest nail designs that I've ever seen. And I wanted to use every single poly gel in this kit so you get the full effect of what this kit contains. I honestly didn't even know if I could do this design especially with poly gel because I think it's only an acrylic type of design. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've never done it before, so I didn't really know how it was going to turn out, but I love it. Obviously, I'm just applying some clear poly gel into the dual form, and then I'm going to take the lightest blue that this kit has, and I'm going to take a very tiny amount on the spatula, and I'm going to do diagonal lines across the dual form. I'm going to do these lines sporadically, and the harshness of the lines doesn't really matter because once you place the poly gel, then you're going to take the brush and smooth over those lines. I do think these nails turned out super cute, but if I was to redo this design again, which I probably will because it is so cute, I would probably try and blend out the lines a little bit more. I feel like this design would also be super cute if you added more than just the one color. So of course, I'm just smoothing out the nail, and a good tip for doing designs, especially with the dual form, is that you can flip the dual form over and see exactly how the design is going to look once you pop off the dual form. This is great, especially with this design, because if you're missing a spot of color, you can go in and fill it in before you cure the design. So here, I'm just going in and applying the dual form to my nail. Once you place the dual form onto your nail and push it down slightly, it is going to move the design around just a little bit. With this design, it did help the lines not to be quite so harsh. <laughs> so here's the nail. I'm going to go ahead and file and shape up this nail. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my middle finger. For this one, I'm going to do a full color of the dark blue poly gel. Being very honest with you guys, I had something completely different in mind for this nail, but when I was doing the application process, it did not work out. So I'm doing something a little bit more simple. Thankfully, this nail is a little bit curvier, so I didn't have to go in and add more poly gel to the sides. I went ahead and filed and shaped this nail off camera and now I'm taking a lint free wipe and some alcohol to remove any dust and prepare the nail for the design. Then I'm going to take the top coat that came in this kit and I'm going to apply a little bit to a smooth surface so I can pick it up with a thin brush. So I'm going to be using a fine nail art brush and I'm going to be drawing a S shape on the dark blue nail. I have some very exciting stuff for you guys coming up, especially with my cart. So make sure to turn on notifications so you're reminded about these upcoming videos. 
Now I'm going to take some chunky glitter and I'm going to pour it over top of the nail. Of course I'm doing this before I cure the nail so the glitter is going to stick to the wet top coat. And I'm going to pat down the glitter just a little bit to make sure that it sticks to the nail. Then I'm going to take the pointy side of my cuticle pusher and I'm just going to finalize the shape that the glitter is in. Because I want pretty precise lines within the glitter so of course I'm going to move them around before I cure the nail. And of course all the glitter that landed on the paper I'm going to go ahead and pour back into the glitter jar so I do not waste it. Then I'm taking some silver foil paper and I'm going to be applying random pieces to the clear marble nail. I don't know what happened but I did not get this footage on camera and I'm really sorry about that. But I just took random small pieces of the foil and placed them onto the wet base coat. Now I'm applying the top coat to all of the medium blue nails. And while the top coat is wet, I'm going to be applying some of these dark blue gems around the cuticle line of these nails. Then I'm going to apply a top coat to the middle and ring finger also. On the glitter nail, I did have to put two or three layers of top coat in order for the glitter to be smooth. Because I'm not one of those people that likes textured glitter, like it really irritates me so I want my glitter nails to be very smooth. Then I'm just taking another lint free wipe and some alcohol and I'm going to remove the sticky layer of these nails. Once I remove the sticky layer, we're all finished. Apply some cuticle oil and you're good to go. I absolutely loved using this kit. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you think of this design or if you have any suggestions for future nail art. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm posting new nail art videos every week. See you guys in the next video. Bye!